Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to see how you can delete entities in Dynamics 365. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now, before deleting entities, you need to keep few things in mind. First, business or system entities cannot be deleted. Custom entities can be deleted, but there are certain conditions associated with it. For example, custom entity inside a managed solution cannot be deleted directly. So for example, if you have imported a managed solution uh, in Dynamics 365, and if there is a custom entity, you cannot just directly go ahead and delete that. In that case, managed solution must be deleted in order to remove that custom entity. Custom entity must not have any dependencies on other entities now this is very important so if if a custom entity has dependencies or any other entity or if there are any kind of relationship or if other entities are dependent on this particular entity that you want to delete well then you will receive an error message when you try to to delete that entity so you would have to remove all those relationships and dependencies in order to delete a custom entity so let's go ahead and have a look all right so here we are in our dynamics 365 solutions area now the idea is to show you what kind of errors you might get if you try to delete uh, certain entities so for example we said that if it is a system or a business entity like for example account uh, or if it is a part of a managed solution you cannot delete it all right so if we just try to delete this entity you will see that we are going to receive an error which says system entities cannot be deleted but for example we have our custom entities over here uh, application and leave application and what i have done is i have uh, linked these two fields wherein there is a lookup in the leave application entity which looks up to the application so what happens if i just try to uh, delete one of our custom entity so as I said, if there is no dependency, you can go right away and delete that. But if there is a, a dependency, what will happen? So if you go ahead and try to delete this entity right now, it will give me an error which says cannot delete the component, cannot delete entity because one or more components are required. That means there is some kind of dependency. Now, sometimes, actually many times, uh, if you are new to this, uh, you would receive these kind of errors which might not directly make sense to you but what this essentially means is that as a dependency you need to delete that dependency first and then you will be able to delete the custom entity so if i select this entity and if i click on show dependencies it will show me all the dependencies that it is linked to if it is related to some other entity then uh, there can be an issue so for example over here you can see that you know there's a relationship to the leave application that we had created created so if i double click on this it will actually show me all the details right so you can just close out of this so where do you see those relationships actually so if i go to the application uh, relationship that is let's say n to one relationship in this case you will see that there is this relationship available over here so if i delete this or if I delete the lookup field which is available in the leave application, this should automatically um, remove the relationship as well. So I can go ahead and delete this over here. So that's it, the relationship is deleted. And similarly, I need to remove the relationship in one to end relationship as well. And I can go ahead and delete that. And the rest of these relationships are actually standard relationship as soon as you create an entity. So this should not make much difference. So now if I go to my entities and if I try to delete the custom entity now, it should go ahead and delete the entity right away. So there you go. The entity has been deleted now. So you can see over here that, you know, if it is a system or a business entity, you just cannot delete that entity. Also, if it is a part of a managed solution, you cannot delete the entity. You can definitely go ahead and delete the custom entity. But for that, uh, you need to make sure that there are no dependencies available. These are things that you need to keep in mind before deleting an entity. So why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself? Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel Tech Dynamics. Bye-bye.